when I couldn't handle relationships anymore, we, we reached this point where it's like, I just can't, I don't know how to deal with the relationship spirit, you'll have to show me and everything, and the spirit gave me uh, this very practical thing and said, it's like this card game, 52 card pickup, you know, where the, where the whole deck goes, dumps down onto the, the carpet, and the spirit said, that's, when you came to this world, the ego dealt out all your relationships. You know, your, your parents, your siblings, your environment, every, everyone, your friendships and so forth. And throughout your life it was dealt out by the ego and, and the Spirit said, now 52 card pick up. Pick up the whole deck, everything that the ego dealt out and bring it back into the deck. Get it all the way back into the deck and then hand it over, hand it to me. I will redeal the deck from a new purpose. In other words, it was, it was dealt out from an egoic purpose. And there was guilt associated with every card that was dealt. Even though we had some loving memories, there was always guilt that came in at some aspect. And it was such a, a big turnover for me when I really did this, when I was able to pack even my, give my, oh, I don't my, my grandmother, I figured out, I was like holding on, stick them in the pocket, and like, no, no, the Spirit says, I need the whole deck. This has to be a total redeal. Uh, you can't hold on to anything. And it's, it's a, it seems like a leap of faith when you hand the deck over. That's kind of like with the past. You're really handing over the purpose of the past. It's not that you won't see these people again. I was even told by the Holy Spirit, some of the old cards will come back, but they will come back completely new. Uh, you will see them in a new way. You will see them in a, in a way that's blessed. And, and some of the cards will disappear, uh, you know, so it was, it was that trust of, okay, I'm not in charge of that, I will let you deal the deck, I will let you bring the witnesses into my life, and, and it's been glorious because there's been thousands of people, you're all, you know, dealt back to me, it's a wonderful experience to have this blessings of love, and it was really impactful because I remember talking with Suze about this, and it was just <coughs> the point where where her son had been kind of arrested on, I guess the equivalent over here of DUI, driving, drunk driving, drunk driving. many times. This, many was, times. this was almost like, he was stretching out. May throw, they may throw the book oh, at him, throw him in, throw away the key. He was going to court on Monday morning and he was either going to jail or not. It was that and after that story, you know, Suze just was guided to call and the spirit from handing over the deck, could yeah. speak through, not as a worried mother, yeah, not I, at I all. So I was sitting down in, in the office and we shared this and he shared the story with me and I really got it <coughs> in the core of my being. And I knew that what I needed to do was shift to a place to absolutely trust God. If it was Ben's highest good to go to jail, mm -hmm. then I needed to be there absolutely in love with that possibility. Yeah, the cascading miracles came from it. Every time I would talk with her, she would say, you wouldn't believe, on the way to the court case, he met this woman, and he was in such joy and certainty that he said, if I don't get, don't go to jail, can I take you out for dinner, and this and this, and she's like, yeah, yeah, well, guess who, guess who he's with? <laughs> yeah, the forgiveness is a gift to yourself, but when you do it, it's like cascading. It touches people and situations that, that you've never met and never in, even encountered. So it's literally like shifting your whole perception of the world and long-standing grievances. You know, a son and a, or, or, and a grandfather. grandfather that had never spoken, Skyping each other. Uh, you know, a man who, who was, you were afraid to maybe go to prison for life, you know, meets his, his girlfriend on the way to court, you know, and, you know, I mean, it's like the movie of the week, it turns into the movie of the week, all from one thing, handing it over. And people say, well, what, what does it mean to hand it over? We mean really hand it over. We mean, don't think that your worry and concern is actually benefiting uh, the people and the situation. You know, they used to joke about the, the, the worrying uh, Jewish mother uh, kind of, sort of, you know, don't think that, that worry ever did add anything to anyone's life. Yeah, it snags everything down. Yes, the attachment, the control, 
Uh, it's really, I would say that, that the way that ego set up the world, it's, it's loaded with past associations, you know, almost in a karmic kind of sense. You know, where, you know, the people that you meet, it's like you've met them over and over and over, like the deja vu thing. You're just replaying the same unholy instant. Uh, and when you come to the world and you just play by the ego's rules, you just find grievance after grievance after grievance. It's like in the Bible, when even Jesus would talk about forgiving, he would say things like, forgive 70 times 7. 70 times 7? Uh, <laughs> that's 447, you know, it's like, is he talking about with everyone <laughs> that I meet? <laughs> 447 times I have to forgive him. He was implying that, that you, you really have to free your mind of these past associations. And by giving the deck over, you're basically saying, the way that this world was set up was a problem. You know, it was a setup. It was a setup for victimization. It was a setup for mistreatment. It was a setup for, I mean, how many people do you talk about their childhood and, and they say, oh, this is the most perfect, beautiful childhood ever. You know, if there's these things that were not perfect, could have been better. You know, I would have had a better start if da 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 da. But it was a, the whole thing was a setup. And when you hand the cards over, basically you're saying, okay, I, I was mistaken. I want a, a total reshuffle, a total redeal, you know, and then how glorious to give yourself that gift. And then when they start coming, some of the old cards for me came back. I mean, my biological father, my biological mother, my sister, you know, I look all the way down the front. These, these were given to me fresh and brand new. We had a new relationship. It wasn't, it wasn't based on a parent-child relationship. In fact, it, it actually, I remember in this new rebirth of relationship, I was with my sister, my mother, my father, and, I, and it just came out calling them by their first names. Mary Jo, Evelyn, Jack. At first, my, my sister's head snapped. She was so used to mom and dad that when it came out, it came out so effortlessly, so natural. It was like we were having an, an adult-to-adult relationship, which is a step towards the Christ, uh, not these old patterns. What you did to me, what I did to you, what you didn't do that you should have done, what I didn't do that I should have done, wiped by this handing over. It was like, so it's like Malfried's bringing up, it's not that, that you say, I swear off, I will never see my mother again, or my father, or my family, or, or these people. You're not doing that at all. You're just handing over to the Holy Spirit and saying, okay, redeal the deck from a new purpose. The ones that, that when you're shining your love and light, like Les was talking about wearing your, your hat of light just to shine it, the ones that show up that, that are reflecting that, you know, how wonderful, and it's like you're saying, I, and I don't need anything but wonderful experiences. I, I don't need to cling to these past experiences where there was guilt. I can be guilt-free. I, I can actually let go of the guilt. It has never served me. And that's the beauty of it, you know. It comes and it's like, they're born again. It's a new, clean, fresh rebirth. A new meeting. Uh, there's no strings attached. So yeah, it's, to me that's what I mean by letting go of past associations. David, is it the, the death that you're giving up or is it the belief in the death? Well for me, it, it, it was the deck, the ego dealt the deck the first time. So it was really kind of a new dealer, uh, was it? Because these are symbols. People are really symbols uh, of what we believe. And if we believe in guilt, then they'll reflect the guilt. And when we believe in innocence and forgiveness, then they reflect it. So it was more just hand it over and, and let the deck be redealt. And it's been so fascinating, mm -hmm. you know, meeting someone like you, you know, this is part of the redeal. Well, how can I be upset with that? <laughs> you know, it's a beautiful experience.